Hi, it's Science Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what's coming up for you in terms of love and romance, perhaps for the rest of the year. There's also going to be a part two to this reading, and in part two, we're going to follow on from the messages and maybe dive deeper um, and go more in depth into some of these messages. Part two is going to be made available via the extension link below. For those of you that are interested in a plus size tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address in that section as well. some beautiful cards um okay so the energies of the universe here say that you most certainly deserve love some of you have been waiting for finding you know you've been waiting for the one or finding true love for far too long and some of you have been feeling as though in the past love relationships haven't necessarily been working out for you don't be disheartened because i do see that the universe here fate and destiny you know it, it's it's predicting, it's signaling that you do deserve love, and it's time to, um, it's time to start welcoming and inviting that into your life. That also means self-love, believing in yourself, loving yourself a little bit more. If you do not love yourself, you know no one else is going to. So start with yourself. Know that you deserve it. You might have to. Um, for some of you might be helpful to say affirmations. Uh, you know uh, that like positive aff affirmations here. Or manifestation phrases that um, will allow for somebody to enter your life there is a romantic energy for some of you this is someone who a new romantic energy that I see is coming your way but you need to be open to this person you need to feel it and you need to love yourself because some of you are a little bit hesitant. Maybe you feel like you don't deserve it. Maybe you feel like, you know, it's just it's not going to happen. Some of you are going to have to take initiative and strike first. Otherwise, it's not going to work out. For others of you, I do see that the universe here wants to welcome someone else back into your life. So, and it does feel like it could be unexpected, okay? Um, for, for some of you, it is going to feel unexpected in a sense where you could be reconciling with the past energy and you thought you know the two of you were done and dusted you didn't think there was a reconciliation or reconnection or reunion that was ever possible between the two of you um, for others of you it is someone that I think energetically and emotionally you've never let go of this person and after all this time the two of you have never stopped loving each other and the universe wants this person you know wants to bring this person back into your life invite them back here because the universe believes that the two of you have a destiny to fulfill um i also see some small fights or arguments are going to be predicted and are going to be foreseen when it comes to love and relationships here but that's that's going to be a positive thing and I'll tell you why because it's going to allow you to express yourself in front of your partner or in front of this person so there are certain difficulties or hurdles where or arguments confrontations where you're going to have to stand up for yourself and what you believe in and take your position The stars are definitely aligning you to bring um, some prosperity, abundance in terms of love relationships. There's a lot of excitement. I see that relationships, romantic relationships, business and friendships are also going to be uh, thriving and flourishing here some of you you're going to feel 
I'm seeing that a great energy is really surrounding you, especially in uh, love, love and romance. So for some of you, it feels like you're going to feel like a new relationship energy with it could be a new romantic energy and you, you're going to feel that new relationship energy um, with someone who feels like they will be or will make a long-term partner even on your first date with this person abundance is coming your way and opportunities are going to come your way enjoy it all and make sure here's the thing you need to make sure that you're open and you're receptive to these opportunities because they may come your way but if you're not open you may not notice them i think that later on in the year i see that there is going to be a lot of new adventures and endeavors that will come your way and in different aspects of life so romance career and uh, business opportunities professional opportunities Some of you, you're going to some of you are going to take something that you're really passionate about and turn it into like into a money making ID or turn make a career out of it. I see uh, proposals. Some of you are developing a new passion outside of the profession you're currently working in. And that, that's going to keep you very busy, very productive, but I also feel like that's going to lead to a new business um, opportunity down the track. There are going to be some proposals that come your way, both in relationships, both romantic proposal and business proposals. Let me tell you, you do not want to miss out on the right deal, so keep an open mind and keep a keen eye open on all the offers and proposals that do come your way. Some of you are going to be meeting a determined business person that is going to help you put you onto the path of success. And for others of you I do see like you're looking for a new job and you're pursuing an you're pursuing a new passion. You're going to face some hurdles or some obstacles in the way, but I think this is only going to strengthen you. It's only going to strengthen your passion for uh, this job, for this passion, of uh, this idea of yours. In terms of love, I think this is going to be the next few months or throughout the, like the year itself is going to be the beginning of a lifelong adventure with someone. For some of your past love, does indeed come back into your life and some things didn't work out with this person in the past because I think something to do with the time the timing was wrong but this year is going to be a perfect chance for you to give this relationship another go to give it a second chance <clears throat> my advice to you is to begin this connection with a clean slate some of you, you know, the, the love stars are shining on you. You're making an excellent impression on a crush, um, which will then soon ease into a relationship. Um, some of you are receiving heartfelt proposals or you're making heartfelt proposals. For others of you, you're confessing your crush or you're confessing your feelings for someone. Remember how I said earlier in the reading, some of you are going to have to take initiative and strike to take action, otherwise something might not happen for you here. For some of you, it's possible that you could be connecting... Okay, you could be experiencing some sort of stress or conflict in the relationship which is then going to break the relationship beyond repair okay and if that's the case just try to understand whatever doors that close for you do so because whatever's on the other side of the door isn't meant for you
Some of you are planning for a long-term commitment, a long-term relationship. Be patient because I do see things going very favorably for you in the end. Um, it feels like you're going to be at the right time, at the right place. You're going to be finally meeting the right person. Something that you've been always waiting for, whether it's you know, meeting a specific person or finding your ideal match, planning your ideal marriage here. Yeah. See, the universe, the energies of the universe are shaping a very blissful, romantic relationship or romantic life for you. I do think that the Lovers and the Wheel of Fortune cards foretell, a, uh, foretell for you a beautiful trip, um, like a beautiful romantic adventure, a beautiful romantic trip. For some of you, I do think you're going to be going away overseas. It could be a honeymoon. Maybe that's what I'm seeing here. Or you're going to be doing some traveling with your um, sweetheart or you're going to be going overseas and this is where you're going to meet what feels like a soulmate energy. It feels like this person is destined for you. There's going to be some ups and downs in the relationship or um, in uh, connect, romantic connections here, but I think this is going to help bring a lot of positivity into your love life. For some of you, it's going to be just some word of warning or advice that is going to be important for you not to let a third person come in the way of your relationship or your partner or your partner here. Okay guys, and these are your messages, so follow me to part two of the extension reading, which will be listed below. For those of you interested in the personalized reading, feel free to inquire. Thank you guys for your time, your energy, your attention and support. Bye for now.